Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. We thank God for yet another chance to share from his word. Reading from the book of Psalm 65, today we are looking at verse number 8 and 9. The Bible says, The whole earth is filled with A at your wonders, where morning dawns, where evening fades. You call forth songs of joy. You care for the land and water it. You enrich it abundantly. The streams of God are filled with water to provide the people with grain. For so you have ordained it. Praise be to God. We uh, looked at uh, verse number 6 and 7 yesterday where we, emph we emphasized about the power of God. That our God is so powerful, he is in charge of the whole creation. And as he rules, as he reigns, even calming down waves, calming down, you know, uh, seas, he is such a powerful God. And in his power, man and the whole creation is moved by the wonders of our God. He is so much in charge. And when we look at who God is and how he is treating his creation, we are moved. And wonder the psalmist says that the whole earth is filled with A at your wonders. We are moved. We are humbled by the wonders of our God. And one thing that we are reminded in verse number nine is that Powerful as our God is, he is also very caring. Verse 9 says, you care for the land and water it. You enrich it abundantly. You know, he's so caring, so concerned, such that he is ready to water the land, to enrich us abundantly because we are his creation. And we are reminded that the streams of God are filled with water. They never run dry. And all this is to provide the people with the grain. Such a caring God. Powerful as he is. Mighty as he is. The creator of the mountains, as we read in verse number 6, is he who formed the mountains by his power, armed with great strength, such a powerful God, yet very caring, ready to water the land, ready to enrich us abundantly. And again, his streams are filled with water, ready to provide us with the grain. That the Lord is such a caring God, so concerned about our needs. He knows very well that you and I, we need to be watered. We need to be revived. We need to be lifted again. We need to be encouraged. He's such a caring God. He will not leave us to dry. One, because his streams are filled with water. And he's always ready to provide us with grain. First and foremost is that man is created in the likeness or in the image and likeness of God. And so God is so concerned. Yes, he's so powerful. Such a mighty God. The creator of the universe. So much in charge of the universe. Yet very caring. He's concerned about your life. He's concerned about your needs. No wonder we are talking about being watered. He's filling us anew. Encouraging us anew. Because he's such a caring God. You care for the land and water it. When we talk about the land, yes, there is the land as we understand, but put yourself there. That even when you feel as though life is so dry, you are almost giving up. God is ready to water your situation again. He's ready to enrich you abundantly. Not in a small way, but in a big way. Put your trust in God. Because as he waters you, as he enriches you, as he provides the grain for you, this brings a lot of joy 
to God. And this gives him a lot of pleasure. No wonder the Bible says that for so you have ordained it. He's ready and willing to provide unto our needs. Let us not give up. Let us put our trust in God. God who cares. God who enriches. God who provides. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.